The news, good evening. The National Assembly has approved amendments to suspend the 13th month pay and uh, end of year gratuity. The amendments apply for this year only and the measures have been taken because of the economic situation due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Arguments from the opposition centered around if the new administration had done enough to see if workers of the lower salary bands could have at least received the payment. The majority party argues that had the previous government done a better job of managing the state coffers, a 13th month pay could have been possible. The Auditor General report for the year 2019 has been published. The report states that the government spent less money than what was allocated in the budget for use last year. The Auditor General, Gamini Herath, says this is a good sign, but there is room for improvement. He added that the agencies, ministries and departments need to look for various quotations before making any purchase and this will help them to make informed decisions and save money. On the other hand, Mr. Herath said that there are clients who owe the government a, a sum of around 729 million rupees that uh, hasn't been collected yet. Mr. Herath says that the government needs to find ways to collect that money. My advice to the government is to look at this figure closely and uh, uh, talk to the uh, organizations concerned and uh, in turn uh, come up with a strategy uh, which will result in collection of as much debts as possible. Uh, so if it is uh, uh, revealed through uh, an assessment they do that uh, giving a discount would help uh, perhaps uh, that is the uh, that is one of the steps that uh, government should uh, take uh, with a view to collect as much revenue debt as possible the minister responsible for family marie-celine ziallo says that her vision for the department working to reduce poverty in the country is to make it more efficient and help its customers to eventually get out of the poverty category. The plan is to restructure the way the department delivers its services. She said this during her visit at this department this morning. The aim of her visit was to allow her to better understand the mandate of that department and share her vision in terms of new strategies and policies and approaches for the department. President Wevel Ramkalawan is back in the country after a three-day state visit to Mauritius. On the last day of his visit yesterday, he visited the Indian Ocean Commission headquarters in Iben, south of the capital, Paulwi. Seychelles have played a key role in the creation of this regional organization. President Ramkalawan spoke about the importance for more collective collaboration among member countries that can help boost their economy and the region in general. Accompanied by members of his delegation, President Ramkalawan also attended a business meeting at the Sugar Beach Hotel in Flocka Flock, organized by the Economic Investment Board of Mauritius. Representatives from the local business community also attended the meeting. President Rom Kalawan took the opportunity to invite Mauritian entrepreneurs to come and invest in Seychelles, which he said would help diversify business activities in the country. To mark the International Day for the Abolition of Slavery, which is today, the National Museum of History has mounted an exhibition about the history of slavery in Seychelles. It all began with the arrival of the first settlers here in August 1770. In the group of 28 people who settled on St. Anne, seven were slaves. Looking back at the important dates that have marked the history of slavery in the country, the exhibition also sheds light on the very difficult life the slaves led. The exhibition is open to the public until February next year. And with this, we end this news summary. Thank you for watching and have a very pleasant evening following the rest of the programs on SBC.